There's a call this evening for the amendment to the Terrorism Prevention Act to allow people who import illegal guns and ammunition into the country to be branded as terrorists. The call comes from Councillor for the Montego Bay Northeastern Division, Senator Charles Sinclair, days after Monday's major gun bust at the Freeport Wharf in St. James. He was speaking Thursday at the St. James Municipal Corporation's monthly meeting. Somebody must have been involved from me for somebody to take that up, make that chance to report anything. Because everything on the court is supposed to be scanned. Here's some new information at that. So you know, Mr. Chairman, what I feel this morning is that we're in this country actually. People who are amongst us is that we have some people that are going to brand them as terrorists. Because it would only be a terrorist, Mr. Chairman, who would have contemplated bringing into Jamaica that type of weapon and weapons. And the only purpose that you can get from a firearm and a gunshot is for people to be murdered. 19 firearms, including six high-powered rifles and just over 470 assorted rounds of ammunition were, all, were among the items seized on Monday. Senator Sinclair is suggesting that such criminals should not be afforded constitutional rights. To take some hard and drastic action against persons who behave and conduct themselves as terrorists and want to import into our country things that are not manufactured here for the sole purpose of causing danger. 